they need to have the facts, and she has a right to have those facts be developed by, by a nonpartisan um, source like the FBI, who are expert, not committee staff. Committee staff can be partisan. And frankly, I believe her. I believe what she said. It rings true to me uh, how she's divulged it, who she's divulged it to over time, over many years. That's exactly what happens when someone has this kind of trauma. But let me tell you something. I, I, I'm, I'm just absolutely stunned at why we are so, uh, why the Republicans and the president is opposed to letting the FBI do what the FBI has done for decades, and that is background checks on nominees. It is not unusual at all. She asked for a hearing, we agree. Uh, she's changed her mind on that, and look, I, I respect that. Um, but I think given her behavior, she might change her mind again, and I think we need to have the hearing. I'd prefer to have it public, though yesterday we offered Dr. Ford the opportunity to, uh, to do it uh, privately mm -hmm. if she's more comfortable. I think that'd be a big mistake. The American people need to see Dr. Ford side by side with Judge Kavanaugh and mm -hmm. judge for themselves. But if she changes her mind again and says, I only do it in private hearing, I'll, I'll reluctantly agree to that.